guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fuck Skin Crew. up sherry here from the fx cleaning crew how's it going so happy holidays um i just want to make a quick announcement that i am going to be doing readings again uh so the information will be in the description box i've taken a little break uh and that's so that i could work on my book so it's done now i've added all the information that i wanted to add um, and so what i've done is approached tarot and spirituality from um scientific point of view. So I get deeply into quantum physics. Um, I explain how consciousness um, happens. It's actually um, due to standing waves uh, and by dampening um, of these standing waves. So consciousness is actually created within the void, within the gap spaces. But I'm getting ahead of myself there. Um, so I also talk about the structure of the universe, everything is sound and numbers. Um, and I also explain that this information is ancient, so I get into um, sacred geometry as well. Um, everything can be traced back to the Vedics. <clears throat> so we already had um, a theory of everything thousands of years ago, but it's been forgotten. But we're starting to remember now, so awesome. And so, you know, that's basically what this channel is about. It's about consciousness and awareness and uh, raising the, the, the vibration of the planet. Um, so, yeah, I'm uh, excited about it. I'll probably give a little quick synopsis of it at the end of the reading. Um, and what else did I want to say? Oh, um, for the readings, just make sure that you uh, wait until I respond uh, to the email before you send any payment. Um, because I want to be able to get the, the readings out to you guys within 24 hours, okay? So that way, you know, things aren't, you know, chaotic for me. So I can do it one at a time. Everybody will um, be rotated through, <laughs> except for my patrons. Um, if you've been a patron, I definitely will give you a discount. And also, you know, in, in celebration of the holidays, um, I'll also give a little discount for those of you who are returning uh, for a second reading. Okay, so I missed you guys so much and I'm so happy to be back and I love you. All right, cheers. Hi guys, Sherry here from the Fox Giving Crew. How's it going? So this is going to be a yin reading, Divine Feminine, for December the 23rd until the 30th. So I'm going to do the same spread as I did for the masculine, which is a split divine partnership, and I'm going to use different cards as well. So we will begin with um, Dorian Virtues, Romance Angels. I just shuffle, shuffled my deck. Can't talk. So we'll pull the cards, and then I'll go through the positions. Get in there. and John Holland, Psychic Tarot. Oh, um, I do give a synopsis of my book, um, but I've attached it to the Twin Flame reading, so it's at the end of the Twin Flame reading, um, just because it's taking up a lot of space. So if you want to check that out, I'm excited about it. So this is Fairy by Lenormand. Pull one random card from Osho Zen. Okay. 
for, wow, Eight of Wands. So this showed up on the feminine side. It was, it was crowning energy, a shared crowning energy. Or no, it was at the heart, that's right. The heart space, so sending loving vibrations out. But this is travel, it's movement as well. Okay, so how does the feminine feel about the masculine? Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So the feminine, yeah, I feel like she's withdrawn a bit, but she's willing to to connect with the masculine, work on the connection, but she's harboring some feelings. You know, she's kind of pulled away a little bit. So one card. King of Swords. So the King of Swords could be her energy or it could be the masculine. This is somebody who's completely emotionally disconnected. Um, they have crystal clarity thought. They cut barriers. They take action. They make decisions. So this could also mean that she wants to communicate. Now she could also be viewing the masculine as somebody who's cold, who's cutting. Um, but since the overall energy is the Eight of Wands, which is communication, um, maybe she, she wants to talk to the masculine, um, or she feels, you know, this coldness coming from him and it's causing her to be, you know, protective of herself. So what is she resisting? Deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship, and it, but it's in the resisting position. So deception is feeling betrayed, feeling lied to. Somebody isn't telling the truth. So this could be the feminine resisting, telling the masculine something um, or accusing him of wearing a mask or vice versa, but now the Seven of Swords showed up on the masculine side for the Twin Flame reading. I just can't remember where. So, you know, there's this negative vibration that's kind of hanging there, lingering in the background that needs to be cleared. So let's pull one card. Nine of Wands. Feeling wounded, feeling like you want to give up. Feeling like you've been taught, you know, tried and tested, and um, you're exhausted. You need a break, but it's in your resisting position. So you're harboring ne negative feelings. Although you feel that you want to give this relationship a try, a chance, um, you're resisting because of something that might have occurred in the past, and so that's stopping you from completing this phase. Your higher self is telling you to reconcile your differences. Someone from your past is returning to your life, but you're holding on to to fears. You don't know whether or not you want to give it a shot, but your higher self is saying yes. Reconcile. Somebody from the past, which would be your twin flame, wants to reconnect with you. And your higher self is saying, yes, go for it. Yeah. The Page of Cups is communicating love, beginning a new loving connection. This is the muse, having romantic feelings. Your higher self is telling you to live from the heart. Like I said, love is the fuel that drives reality and consciousness. The past, temptation, the devil. Um, so you may have been triggered by the ego in the past. Uh, this could be an addiction, self-limiting belief, some type of behavior um, caused a problem. So you, you or your twin flame or someone in your environment feels chained or you feel chained to them. Okay, so again, something in the past is, you know, stopping you from coming together and, and showing your emotions. 
Five of Cups, yep, it hurt you deeply. This is mourning, loss, deep pain, sorrow. Um, you know, tears of healing rain. So there, there's this grief, but also a deep let go. Remember you had the Three of Swords in the past as well. Or no, it was the Four of Swords it was in the past, so there, you were hurt. Your present position is Six of Wands, victory and success. So, you know, I'm not really feeling this too much. Um, this is somebody standing at the top of the hill and just crying out victorious, you know, blowing that trumpet. Um, feeling like the rock star. So, present position, you feel victorious, but I'm not seeing that in the cards. So, what do you mean by that? The Four of Pentacles being closed off. So, there's an illusion happening here. You, the message from the universe in the Twin Flame reading is that you're, you're projecting this image of being okay, being strong on the outside, but on the inside. There's tumultuous feelings all over the place. You're holding on to something. You're closing yourself off in the physical. And you're projecting this image that you are successful, that you're riding the wave. But that's not the truth. I saw this feeling of you closing yourself off all the way through the Twin Flame reading. Right? You're wearing a metal helmet. You're, you have a shield in front of you. Um, you know, the sword is dug into the ground instead of being held towards the sky as in crystal clarity. You know, eventually you make it to that victorious point where you just let it all go, which is awesome, but this energy is so prominent right now. If you being closed off, you holding on to pain and not willing to really reconcile. Okay, so let's skip the future for now. The universe, you hold the key to your freedom. There's a mystery that needs to be solved, and you can unlock that door. You hold the key to your freedom, all right? So the universe is basically confirming that you've created a mental prison for yourself. You've, you, um, you're going to discover something, or you need to discover something. So one card, the night of fire, wow. This was, um, I think this was in the present moment, right? It was with the Two of Swords. You are holding back on moving forward. Unlock your passions, unlock your creativity, and go forward with directed movement. Go after your dreams. Take that key in your hand for yourself. And what's interesting is that there is also a key up here, right? This person is reaching for a key. There's a heart on it. So you're tempted to take that key in the past, but because you didn't, it caused heartbreak and pain. What's in your external environment is death, regeneration, and ending. So that, um, you know, you can be reborn anew. And I definitely was feeling that with the masculine, with the tower coming down, the illusions. Major change happening on the masculine side, so the feminine's picking up on that vibration. Nine of Swords. So this is causing you to stay up at night. You know something has to end, or is ending, or um, I don't know, but either you're, you're feeling you're staying up all night, having nightmares about it, or this energy is. The energy in your external environment um, is this way, and you're picking up on it. Um, so this is the dark night of the soul, and complete death and rebirth. So it's an ending of a major um, mental breakdown, <laughs> in a way. Okay, so what do you fear? 
loyalty, friendship, you fear that your friend, um, you've lost your friend, that you fear that, you know, because I see this bond here, this friendship that's been there for a very long time, um, and you're, you're afraid that it might be gone. The fool, remember this was the final outcome, it came with the Ace of Swords, it's taken that leap of faith. You're afraid to fall into the gap, into the void, you know, you're afraid to take a leap of faith towards this friendship, this, this deep bond. Um, there's a new start beckoning you and just be childlike, be free, be like the page who loves, who is free, shows love without hesitation. Okay, so what's in your future? Five of Wands, obstacles and challenges. This Five of Wands showed up in your near future as well. It showed up with a, a shield on your heart. And here we have you crossing a void, crossing the gap space, right? And it's just taking that, that step, that leap, just going for it. And so we see you at a, you know, um, a crossroads or a juncture or pause. Okay, Ace of Pentacles, an opportunity. This is manifestation of an idea. It's that intention is sent, sent. And so it begins to crystallize. So you guys have to meet one another, come together and, and stop focusing on the lack, right? Okay, so the Eight of Wands it says traveling. My deck, it is a woman or man, whomever, holding a phone, they're texting, they're communicating. So this card represents sending out loving intentions out into the universe and having it returned to you. So for the Osho Zen deck, it's a little different. It's about traveling, um, realizing that you're already at the destination. So to enjoy the road, you know, enjoy the journey. So let me just find that. Um, okay. So it says... The tiny figure moving on the path through this beautiful landscape is not concerned about the goal. He or she knows that the journey is the goal. The pilgrimage itself is the sacred place. Each step along the path is important in itself. When this card appears in a reading, it indicates a time of movement and change. It may be a physical movement from one place to the next, or an inner movement from one way of being to another. But whatever the case, this card promises that the going will be easy and will bring a sense of adventure and growth. There is no need to struggle or plan too much. The traveling card also reminds us to escape and embrace the new. Just as when we travel to another country with a different culture um, and environment, that the one we are, then the, then the one we are accustomed to. The attitude of openness and acceptance invites new friends and experiences in our lives. So there we go again. So be open. You know, um, you're closing yourself off when you do tumultuous feelings. Start to, you know, chaos, cognitive dissonance starts to take hold, right? So find um, stillness within yourself. Don't be anxious. Don't rush into anything. Um, take every day, one day at a time. Um, so it looks to me like what I'm feeling is the two aspects are kind of coming together. Uh, but they're afraid of the gap. They're afraid of the journey. So don't be. 
Okay, so I do hope you enjoyed this week's Twin Flame reading. If you'd like to order a reading, the information is in the description box below. Uh, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Alright, cheers.